the key for non-technologists is to really understand not just what should I do with respect to cybersecurity, but what should I do first? How should I think about this problem and that I have in terms of exposure of risk uh, to my information, the identities of the people who are working uh, with me, uh, the clients that we serve? How do I protect that information and those identities and still get my business done, deliver my services, uh, manufacture my goods, get them to market? The real key is not simply securing information and keeping it in a locked box, but getting that information where it needs to go throughout my network, throughout my supply chain, uh, throughout the capability that I need to perform the mission or job uh, that I'm meant to perform. And when thinking about priorities, it's tempting, I think, to go searching for a silver bullet. There are no silver bullets in cybersecurity. It does take a suite of measures measures that rest on properly configured technology, getting the machines in the game so they're talking to each other and in doing the kinds of things that they can do for you. And there's a lot of capability in the machines that are shipped out today. Think about your home computer. It will often tell you, are you sure you want to download this software? This looks suspicious. Don't do it. We recommend you not do it. Uh, the button is, is highlighted even to make that easier. But also look at your workforce. Uh, is it well trained? Do the people who work for you understand what your policies are with respect to downloading information from the internet, to sharing information, to bringing in portable devices or zip drives or thumb drives and downloading pictures or other items that, that might introduce malware into your system? And again, do you have policies that relate to the physical security to the, the human resource practices and to the network configurations and technologies that you want deployed in your system. This is known as a risk-based approach. Some call it layering. Uh, the point here is that there are no silver bullets, uh, that one needs to pay attention to all aspects of the ecosystem and stay constantly updated in a way that non-technologists, leaders, policymakers, decision makers, corporate officers can understand and respond to when threats or new opportunities present themselves. When I was a major, I was serving in Korea, and I talked to the chief of security police at our base, and he said, you know, you know what the opposite of security is? And I go, insecurity? He said, no, convenience. <laughs> and and we, we actually run into that. I mean, we, we, we love the speed, the, the ubiquity, the, con the convenience of, of the web, and, and being able to touch people and things almost instantaneously. And that truly is a great thing. And security in that kind of environment seems almost to be an afterthought. I mean, I, in my class at George Mason, I, I teach how the web was developed and security was an afterthought. It wasn't built in. But now we have to understand we've put so many things that are precious to us, things that we may have once kept in a safe, kept in a drawer, or kept in our wallet, and we've put them out there uh, into this space where they are very, very vulnerable. And so now we have to embrace the reality that security is not a burden, security is not an inconvenience, security is the cost of doing business. We have to put it into the core of, of all of our activities, personal and professional. Organizations oftentimes make um, security harder than it needs to be. And you know, there's a saying in this business that complexity is the enemy of good security. So by addressing fundamentals, and not try to get too cute, not to try to get too tricky. Um, I think organizations can actually address the key issues of their IT environment with some very fundamental things, with things like developing good policies, developing good training, implementing and, and keeping your infrastructure up to date. Um, knowing what's going on in, the in your environment are really key and really critical um, and really not that complex. Consider security as a business enabler. If you're a business leader or a mission leader in a government agency, the business of protecting a lot of what you have in your information space becomes this sort of you know, arcane art form practiced by these wizards who work in the dark and look at glowing screens all day. And you, it really is a much simpler proposition than that. You really need to think about security as a business enabler. Every enterprise uses business. More enterprises today use business, use information in, in flexible, 
imaginative ways, that's what is the differentiator for many businesses and, and government agencies in achieving those big goals. So what you really need to do is to see security as a business enabler and begin to understand how well that security process is protecting your enterprise, how well it's mitigating the risks to your enterprise and the execution of those business goals. Once you get to that point, then you can begin to identify the assets that count most. Uh, you can begin to define how you want to protect those assets. You can begin to define technical and operational architectures that actually implement those governance models. And it really begins to boil this down into a manageable set of processes and functions. Uh, we like to think about it as, a, as an actual layered architecture, a whole, a whole ecosystem, in fact. It starts with a strategic understanding of what's important, goes to a, a look at the assets, um, understands how to protect those assets with, with proper governance, a definition of what you do to protect which assets, um, and then works down through the various technical and operational layers. It is easy to get overwhelmed because good security solutions very typically produce an enormous amount of information. So critical things to look for in designing a security program are going to be what can you automate? You want to, you want to choose solutions that will automate the vast amount of repeatable security activities, scanning, analytics, going through and, and prioritizing the findings. And then you want to present findings directly to the people who can act on them and they, and they need to be actionable. And by actionable, what I really mean is they need to be highly prioritized, not low, medium, high, you know, high risk, that used to be good enough, but now there, there are too many, too many findings across that spectrum. So you want findings that are literally stack ranked. This is the first thing I should do. This is the second thing I should do. If I have the resources, here's the third, fourth, fifth. And then those findings need to also be presented with the actual actions that, that will remediate. Once I know this is a problem, how do I fix it? And how do I carry that through and demonstrate that that's, that that's been fixed and we can move on to something else?